So this is why you don't bring all of your law runes to your slayer task on leagues. Um, I've got a troll task. I got it from Spria as my first task from her. And uh, I was going to kill, or I was in the middle of killing the troll generals, um, which if you safe spot them incorrectly and you fuck up the safe spot, they can hit up to like 32, 33 or something. And yeah, basically I had... Um, Basically, I got maxed out twice from a troll, so I didn't really have enough time to eat with just salmon being my best food. So I gotta make the run of shame go up here. I guess claim my first pair of climbing boots, which is probably a task. Um, nah, that's not even a task. But yeah, I'm just gonna go claim my stuff from the gravestone and continue the task. Oh well. So we took a bit of a risk um, buying the Slayer staff here, but I just want to show like how much this thing slaps, even though we're like only 80 mage. It's like twice as fast. So like, look at that. Ah, uh, not not too accurate, but like, it's pretty good, in my opinion. I think we max like a 20 something with it. But the problem is we need death runes for it, so I've just been using up the death runes I got from Ogresses, and I'll just run out soon enough anyway. But it's a cheap spell to cast. It's like pretty, t and then, and then when I get a, uh, when I get, um, what do you call it? Uh, when I get the trident eventually, um, that's gonna be like, you know, that's a two tick casting speed with this relic. So yeah, that'll be uh, quite nice. But yeah, just wanted to point that out. So I forgot to record it when I obtained it, but uh, as you can see, we are making use of this treasure seeker relic a little bit, and I've been getting some clues passively while knocking out some tasks, like mainly the fishing one for lobsters, and we happened to stumble across a pair of mole slippers. So right now I'm just doing um, some quests. I believe I'm going to be doing Elemental Workshop 2 and... Uh, murder mystery in the um, candron areas for the crafting XP among other things and then we're just gonna knock out a bunch of stuff while we do that instead of focusing on XP okay with this I should be able to complete elemental workshop part two um, this is a um, and I can also make the elemental sh I can make the um I can make the mind shield which will be our best in slot magic shield until we get to the wilderness provides us with a plus oh wait it's only got a defensive bonus so I believe the best magic attack shield is the brudu shield from Karamja which does have a bunch of tasks associated with it so I might knock those out after questing Okay, it's the end of the night. I didn't get as much as I wanted to do. I'm 2690 to the next relic, 116 to the next area. But this is an important step because we finally got our first U sapling, which is a requirement for the Varrock Hard Diary. And uh, if we want to pay to protect this, we need an item we cannot get 10 cactus spines. So yeah, we're just gonna hope this doesn't die, and yeah, I'm just gonna plant the rest of these saplings, just oak, nothing special, and uh, hopefully in the morning I'll have 72 farming so I can plant the calclot for that task. See you then. Okay, here is the Candor and Easy Diary complete. I already did the, um, I already claimed the reward for the Falador Easy Diary, so we got up to 52 herb from that lamp, and we're gonna get up to 54 herb from this lamp. Um, the only Easy Diary I have left is Western Provinces, and you can only get this up to medium with the areas I'm going to unlock. It's kind of finicky with hard and elite you need like multiple areas unlocked to do it which is kind of weird but they said it was intentional so um yeah other diaries they auto complete locked out areas but not candoran for whatever reason so yeah i'm gonna do candoran easies now i mean not candoran easies western province is easy see you then
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, moment of truth. Let's see if our yew tree survived for the diary task. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Let's see how much XP we get. 84,000 experience, which brings us to 72 farming, which means we can now grow calquat trees for the uh, Karamja task. Let's go do that and plan it. And there is the easy western diary completed um there was a quirk with this diary that they didn't decide to fix due to player feedback um upon completion of the quest you can check the ogre bow and it gives you a thousand and one uh chompy kills so that lets you complete all but two of the tasks related to chompy bird hunting which speeds up the easy and western diaries in addition to the later ones that we can't do so yeah that's um interesting but there's still tasks for uh wearing further chompy hats so i don't know if we'll do that or not might get 99 ranged before i attempt that because it's kind of slow i guess i should explain the um chompy bird hunting quirk better it's basically not a quirk um what it was was a uh anti-lockout measure by jagex because the western diaries are kind of weird they uh span across multiple areas so they gave um they gave mauritania and um tyran wind players the ability to auto complete big chompy bird hunting which uh one of the results of that was uh the 1001 kills for the uh quest completion and the uh um just the quest completion and the diary checkoffs for the anti-lockout measures but other players in other areas didn't get that initially so they um changed that later down the line um so now uh players without tyrion win and mauritania can get the other chompy tasks done quicker um while the you know mauritania and tyrion win players don't get locked out of the first two levels of the western provinces diary so that's a cool update they did just killing the giant mole for the uh task completion and i just want to show you how long this actually takes even with the um mage relic for increased accuracy i mean we are using firebolt but <laughs> but we're flicking mystic lore with the mage relic and we're just <laughs> not hitting so um it's something to come back to when with the, we come back with a higher spell and you know maybe actual damage but yeah i'm just doing this while i'm waiting for my uh while my tree did grow so now i can do that before i go to work pretty cool okay so i finally got a um teak seed from uh you bird houses which is cool because um that'll uh uh, be good XP per hour when we unlock the infernal gathering. I'm like, ooh, there's a maple seed. So, um, yeah, nice. It's a nice birdhouse run overall. But what I wanted to talk about mainly was, um, uh, it's kind of annoying doing the, um, Talby want to clean up task for leagues because, uh, there's so many people there, you know, looking for that gout tuber drop. I mean, I've seen other people try to sell it to each other for, like, RSGP, but like in the other game but um it's just so annoying because like there's like countless amounts of uh people and their brudu victims and you know if as if they're not the uh the ones that can be damaged by anti-poison or food then like they just stay there and just damage other people because it's just not worth killing them so it's annoying if you find one spawned and you attack it and it ends up not being full hp because if it's not full hp then um then uh, you won't get the drop, which is another task. So yeah, I've just been struggling there. So I'll see you when we do another task. That's important. Still no gout tuber. I just wanted to point out um, uh, one very important thing is, um, <laughs> as you can see, uh, the Fossil Island Teak Tree will be done Sunday at 7 a.m. So that's a long time. Uh, for now, I treated it with Ultra Compost, but just in case, since it's a very lengthy crop to grow, I've got um, Limpwort plants right here so I can uh, pay the squirrel for the cost of watching it. So yeah, just wanted to point that out. Make sure you watch your teak trees because 
Letting that die is horrible because it's so nice wood cutting and fire making XP once you get the infernal tools. Okay, I have no idea how rare the gout tuber is, but look at this. One, two, three, fucking four gem rocks all spawned by me. This is ridiculous. They're probably the same rate of occurring. <laughs> I just want this gout tuber already. I mean, I, I still need the uh, trading sticks for the clothes, for the task, but this is just so dumb. Okay, so that wasn't too bad, I guess. I got up to 1,000 trading sticks, and I got the gout tuber. So I'm going to... Oh, how do you... um? I guess you ask him what he does. Yep, I'd like to get a machete. Get the opal one. And there we go. That's the uh, medium karamja task. So now I just need to get 300 more trading sticks for the other task. Okay, so I got the brudu shield, which oddly enough, this will be our best magic based shield until we get to the wilderness to get our malediction odium wards and the uh, corp shield because this provides a magic bonus of um prayer bonus of five which is so weird and a magic attack bonus of three so yeah it's our best magic shield for now and um let's see now the only medium tasks i have left to do for karamja 50 nature runes will do that once um once we uh, da, 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 do the Artie Medium Diaries for the noted Pure Essence daily, and then that one, we just have to go ahead and claim it, I believe. Um, I'm missing one task. What is it? I don't see it. Cook a Karen one. Oh, okay. So I gotta basically do Talby one a trio halfway. Oh, well. I guess I'll go do that. Okay, so I'm a bit unlucky here. The uh, drop I'm hunting for at Moth's Giants, I know people say to do Hobgoblins for uh, Talby Wanna Trio for the Spear, but Moth's Giants, they drop beginner clues, which uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, tasks for that in terms of uniques and like total completions, and I can do most beginner clues minus the ones in the desert, but back to the point. Um, Moth's Giants have a 1 in 64 drop chance of a Mithril Spear, and you need a Steel Spear or better for Talbiwana Trio completion. And I'm at 186 kills, 10, no, 11 scroll boxes, so that's pretty much drop rate. A little bit lucky there, 1 in 20 for those with the Relic. Two mossy keys, uh, extremely lucky for that. They're normally one in 150 off task. So that's probably where all my luck is going. I've gotten a tooth half of key, which is RDT, which is, even though the drop rate for RDT is slightly more common, it's just so bonkers to get a tooth half in that amount of kills. Four heads, six black square shields. Keep in mind those black square shields, they have the same drop rate as a mithril spear and then two magic staffs again those are another one in 64 drop and here are all the seeds we've got three snape grass seeds those are rare then spears and then like all these snapdragon renards it's like crazy and then we did get the meme drop we got the single blood rune this is a one in 128 drop to get a single blood rune from moss giants but only on members world so we've gotten extremely unlucky but there's one good thing. I actually found out that I can run old school mobile on my phone. I had a weird quirk with RuneScape 3 mobile. It's um, basically my phone. Uh, it's not very good with like handling random access memory. So uh, because the weird new functionality to link authenticator on phones for... Um, I think they changed it with the Steam login. There's this weird new integration before you would log in and it would bring you directly um like enter the code on your authentication app and you wouldn't have to log into the website but now when you try to re-authenticate it wants you to log into the runescape website and do all that stuff um doing this you know when it redirects you to the runescape website because i have such low memory on my phone it will basically reload the app every time uh, either I suspend it or I automatically suspend it via like the functionality it wants me to do to log into the game. So, oh, there's the spear. Okay, so that's nice. 
Uh, we're going to do these beginner clues. But anyway, finishing up. Um, so basically, every time it relaunches the app to log me in, um, because that relaunch functionality, I just get kicked back to the main screen and it just doesn't recognize that I was trying to attempt to authenticate because it's looking to go back to the app that was uh, suspended. It doesn't want to reload the app entirely. So yeah, just wanted to point that out. I can actually use old school mobile and do birdhouse runs while at work, although I can't take too, too many breaks for the sake of uh, efficiency. So um, yeah, we're gonna do these 11 beginner clues. I can do every beginner clue minus ones in the desert. So I'm gonna go do one before work. I'll uh, record if I get anything substantial. See you then. Okay, so there's some slight progress there. We've completed, we were able to do every t uh, clue except for two. And uh, the only unique we got is the sandwich lady hat. So yeah, <laughs> that's two uniques checked off. I think there's one more task for like five uniques. I'll have to go check on that. But yeah, that's cool. Okay, we finally completed Tau V1 a trio. Probably one of the most useful medium diaries on the account because of the uh, ticket bonus for agility. Um, we're going to do that a lot later, though, because of the um, Apatol agility course, but here we are claiming the reward. We get a little bit less XP than the normal diaries because this diary was introduced first, um, but yeah, here's the Cramja Gloves 2. Oh, did I, did I get it? Oh, yeah, Cramja Gloves 2. Okay. Same stats, it looks like, as the other. Oh, no, it's an upgrade because we're wearing the Cramja Gloves 1, or at least we were. But yeah, Cramja Gloves 2, and 60,000 herb XP, that's crazy, 59 herb lore. And I'm going to do the already medium diary now before reset so I can get the pure essence for runecrafting. Okay, I've completed the Ardone medium diary, um, first I got kind of blindsided because I thought I was not going to be able to do it by 7 p.m. because I thought I had to do hand in the sand but it turns out that one's auto checked off because it's one of those anti-lockout measures because you need both access to Kandarin and Asgarnia for that quest so that's auto completed I probably will still do hand in the sand it's good crafting XP and you get um daily buckets of sand which help with crafting so I'm going to go claim the Ardone Cloak and our Pure Essence that we can get once a day after 7 p.m. Let's see how much XP we get. Oh, by the way, this is currently our best magic cape. It's a four attack. It's quite nice. Um, herb XP, we get 90,000. Go to 62 Herb Lore. That's phenomenal. <laughs> so yeah, drop this scavid map and we'll go claim our pure essence and get our rune crafting up for further tasks. Okay, so I totally forgot about the watermelon you need for a couple tasks. So I've got some nasturiums growing over here in Catherby and the watermelons are planted. And uh, because we have a low amount of watermelon seeds, we're just going to stay here at Catherby. There is a task for cooking a hundred swordfish so i will be at the catherby fishing spot fishing the um swordfish so yeah that's what i'm gonna do and it's gonna be a long process but hopefully the watermelon will be done by then okay so this is the last clip in the video i'm like editing two videos at once right now doing some fishing um I'm going to hold off on tasks for the Achievement Diary for now, um, because we got 62 herb lore, and we are 165,000 experience off 80 Hunter, that's like, probably like, what, 10 minutes of red salamanders, give or take, uh, because we're so close, um, Herby Boar, starting at 62 herb lore, it allows you to get Grimy Dwarfweed as a chance once you loot the herby or the herby boar. And uh, there is a task for clean a hundred dwarf weed. So you either, you know, get stupid lucky with uh, slayer seeds and you wait, or you just go from 80 to 99 hunter and you get, you know, you get a 99 and you get um, so much unlocked via that. 
So I think we're going to do that. There's so many um, tasks related to the herbivore, so many tasks related to Hunter. So we're going to get 99, and um, that'll be the end of the video. Uh, hopefully next video I, um, you know, unlock a new relic or something. N didn't unlock anything in this video, just mainly tasks and grinding. So yeah, good video. See you uh, in the next one.